So one of the important things we have to be able to do is to solve an equation for a specific variable. So suppose we have the equation a equals 1 half b h. And we want to solve this for h. So there are three important things to keep in mind when solving equations. First, to solve an equation for a variable, we want to rewrite the equation in the form variable equals stuff that doesn't include the variable. Second, the type of expression or equation is determined by the last operation performed. And third, you have to undo the last thing first. So if we take a look at the equation a equals 1 half b h, we see that this is a product. And so we begin by dividing. Now remember, we need to be a little bit careful with division. We should avoid dividing by an expression containing the variable we want to solve for. So if we think about this equation as the product 1 half times b times h, we're multiplying h by 1 half b. And so that means we'll divide by 1 half b. And so now we have h equal to a whole bunch of things that don't include the variable h. We've solved for the variable. Although the form isn't particularly nice. While we don't have to do it, it's nice not to have a fraction in the denominator. So we can simplify our expression. Remember, if we multiply numerator and denominator by the same thing, we get an equivalent fraction. And if we multiply a fraction by its denominator, that will clear out the fraction. So here, this fraction 1 half in the denominator, if we multiply it by 2, we'll get rid of the fraction. But we also have to multiply the numerator by 2 to keep the same expression. And that gives us a simplified form of our answer. How about the equation p equals 2l plus 2w solved for w? So again, to solve an equation for a variable, we want to rewrite the equation in the form variable equals stuff that doesn't include the variable. The type of expression or equation is determined by the last operation performed. And you have to undo the last thing first. So our expression 2L plus 2W has a multiplication, 2L, 2W, and an addition. We have to do the multiplication first, which means the addition is done last. And so the expression is a sum. So we should begin by subtracting. Since we want to solve for w, we want to get w all by itself, we'll subtract 2l. So again, we're trying to solve for w. We had an addition. We've taken care of that. We also have a multiplication. So now we want to divide by 2. And now we have our equation in the form w equals stuff that doesn't include w, we've solved for w. So let's solve this for r. To solve an equation for a variable, we want to rewrite it in the form variable equals stuff that doesn't include the variable. The type of expression or equation is determined by the last operation performed, and you have to undo the last thing first. So what we have, we have a bunch of divides, we have a sum, Order of operations says the divides have to be taken care of first, and then the sum. So the last thing done is a sum, and so the expression is a sum. And since we're trying to solve for r, we'll subtract 1 over q. So at this point, it's helpful to think about all the stuff that doesn't involve r as things we can take care of first. And that means all this stuff over on the left-hand side, we don't really care what the operations are. The only thing that matters are the operations that are actually being done with R. And so over here on the right-hand side, we have 1 over R. Well, that's really 1 divided by R. The expression involving R is a quotient. 
And since we're dividing by r, to undo this, we should multiply by r. And over on the right-hand side, our common factors of r drop out. And over on the left-hand side, we do nothing because factored form is best, and we have a product. And so the expression involving r is a product, and so we should divide. And again, typically we want to avoid dividing by an expression containing the variable we want to solve for. So we want to divide by this entire expression, 1 over t minus 1 over q. And that gives us our final answer.